Are you ready? Get out of Kanto? Guys, welcome back to Idle Guard. Uh, we're here because uh, we're going to talk about what you need to be have done before you can leave Kanto to go to the next region in Pokey Clicker. So let's do that normal video intro stuff like make sure you smash the like button and do the same subscribe button it helps me out a lot and uh, helps me uh, with the channel and getting it going. So first things first, Kanto. Last episode, we beat the Indigo Plateau. We beat Blue, the lovely champion, and we became the champion. Now, this game has lots of regions. I do believe there's up to Gen 4, Gen 5, and we can go to them. But you have to collect all the Pokemon from that zone before you can leave. That includes legendaries. That includes, you know, every single one. But even if you've already completed your Pokedex for the region, should you go right away? Absolutely not. So let's go over some things you need to do before you even leave. First things first, you have to make sure that you have caught all of the Pokemon. If you don't know where the legendaries are for Kanto, Mewtwo is in Cerulean Cave, Zapdos is in Power Plant, Articuno is in Seafoam Islands, and Moltres is in Victory Road. Uh, Mew spawns in any map. The higher the number of the route, uh, the higher chance it has to spawn. So you may see it multiple times, you just have to kind of be lucky and catch it. Now, some of the other things on the list will give you a chance to kind of get that. So let's go ahead and go over that. Now, you are going to encounter several Pokemon that are egg locked, which means you have to buy the egg in order to finish them. This is going to be all the other starters that you didn't get. So if you, you know, went Charmander like I did, you're going to have to get a water and grass egg in order to find those Pokemon. So good thing to know, once you have collected all the Pokemon from that egg, you will get a Pokeball in the right hand corner. You have captured this Pokemon. That means there's nothing new in there. Same thing with all of the stones. Good way to check all the stones is if you go to Evolution Stones, it'll show you if you've already collected it, if you have that Pokemon. It also shows you if you have the shiny form. Now you can use the stones to see if you can get a shiny form of these guys, but uh, early on I would not recommend. So basically, you're going to need fire, water, electric, grass, moon, and the trade stone, which is Pokemon you normally can only get through trades for the first area for Kanto. So you can get these items by buying them in the shop for quest tokens, or you can get them from mining. So if you haven't already explored mining, you do have to get the underground entrance, which does involve getting the Explorer Kit from Cinnabar Island Pokemart. So make sure you go ahead and pick that up so you can go ahead and do that. Now you can get more mining, uh, basically energy by using the small restores, but those can get kind of pricey. Now you've already done all that. You're like, I've gotten all the Pokemon. Great. I'm going to go now. No, don't do it. No. What I would recommend before you move on to the next zone is get up to quest level 10. The reason you want to get up to quest level 10 is it allows you to have two quests going at the same time, which is absolutely broken. So this just requires going through the quest and completing them. And once you have two quests unlocked, it gets super, super easy to do this. Next thing I would do, I would take some time and go and collect yourself some shinies. Now you can get shinies in the overworld, but those have a higher rate, uh, like one in 8,000. Or if you try and hatch them, they're significantly lower. Or you can also find them in the safari zone, things like that. So I would try to get some shinies. The reason we want shinies is shinies are going to have a higher attack. They get a higher attack bonus when they have been bred. And so, yeah, we definitely want to spend some time doing that. The other thing I would also recommend doing is while you're over here hatching is uh, make sure you hatch through your Pokemon several, several times. What this does is give them an attack boost. I'm going to go sit on the route. My attack is 31,000. When we go to Johto, we are going to lose a lot of this. So make sure you go and do that. Make sure you also have plenty of cash because we're going to have some new items we can buy in the next area. Make sure you have plenty of the dungeon tokens. We're going to have plenty of stuff to buy in the next area. The next thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Oak items. I would recommend getting as many of these maxed out as you can without losing your sanity. Uh, I have already managed to get the amulet coin, the poison barb, and I'm pretty close on XP share and a magic ball is already maxed and the shiny one is at level four. 
So I have better shiny odds and my egg is also at level four. So make sure you already get these kind of working ahead of time because it's, yeah, yeah. Now the last big thing I would recommend before you move to the next zone, other than, you know, having an adequate amount of time because you will be able to come back to Kanto and I'll kind of talk about some of the stuff that we're going to get in Johto here in a minute that is going to be really nice when you return to Kanto is uh, your achievement tracker. Go to the Kanto region, start working on as many of these as you possibly can because you want to get this achievement bonus up as high as you can, okay? I am at 84% for this region, which that's not bad. Most of the other quests I have left are defeating the gym leaders, the late game gym leaders, over 100 times. I've done each of them already 10. I've done each of the dungeons 10 times. So that's kind of my biggest tip is make sure you get these done. Do the easy ones. If you need cash, go fight the Victory Road guys. Super, super easy money. If you've been completing your quest, you should have a lot of these done already. I probably could do the Viridian Forest one pretty quickly. Now with the gym leaders, after you've completed a gym leader a hundred times, all you, you get this lovely thing right here, which means if you click on this, you will auto restart this battle. If you can defeat it within the time limit, you will automatically restart this battle. This is also going to help you get shards and other things. Now, that's kind of a waste of money. You don't get money when you do this. You're actually losing money every single turn. If you have an auto clicker, just put it in that corner and you can make some fast cash. There's no reason to do that. So just kind of my big tip right there. Now, one more thing before you go, make sure you have plenty of Pokeballs going into the next area and specifically Ultra Balls because they're going to be down here in Fuchsia City. Go to the Pokemart and I would I would make sure to at least have a thousand on you. There, there's an achievement for doing that. So make sure you at least have a thousand because when you go to Johto, there's going to be a ton of brand new Pokemon, some brand new stuff. So yeah, keep that in mind. Once you've gotten all that done, I would say you are as prepped as you can be to leave. Uh, you're more than welcome to stay and hunt all the shinies. However, um, some people don't have patience. So if you want to go, I would say that you are pretty ready at this point. So guys, next episode, we will be going to Johto. And hopefully you all enjoyed this. And I will see you all next time. Bye.